No, the bo all of them are all gone. I just threw away the last box. All the Nutri-Green bars are gone. I did warn you when you had that for a snack that you wouldn't have any left. Watch out. Okay, baby. I'm trying to. Oh, you're so nice. Okay. Down the stairs we go. These fit you just fine. Why don't you ever want to wear them? That's too big. <laughs> Very talkative this morning, buddy. <laughs> you guys so um, I wanted to share an updated day in the life routine with you guys of like a working mom of two the sun's gonna get really crazy here for a sec um I everything in my schedule like feels like it's changed so when I have like a big change in my schedule I do like to like update you guys and like let you know what it looks like now um, so I started a new accounting position um, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago here. June 3rd was my first day. My routine does look a little bit differently um, versus how it used to. So um, now I'm getting the kids, both the kids go to the same daycare now and I get them both there by like right around like 7.15, 7.20. All right, 7.40 and I have my train to iced coffee it's like it's literally just iced coffee it's not like espresso it's just iced coffee with heavy cream and um i think it's like two or three pumps of sugar-free vanilla and then for my breakfast i like to get the um ham and cheddar egg bites with sriracha i'm not gonna eat this till i get in the office but i'll show you guys this is what the egg bites look like ham and cheese you guys know i'm trying to diet and lose weight and then it comes with a thing of sriracha which i'm sure there's some carbs in that sriracha because it seems a little sugary but all right like i said 7:45, and i work just right across the street from here from the starbucks so i am going to head to work and um like i showed you guys my lunch is that healthy choice um, meal today and then after that um i guess the next time i will film is when i leave the office today okay Hey guys, okay, so I just got off of work and I am on my way, oh my gosh, I'm in traffic right now. I'm on my way to go get the kids from daycare, so that is now like the next thing that I do. I usually don't work, leave work until like between like 5 and 5.30 is usually when I leave. Um, usually I just leave, I like give myself enough time, like at least 10 minutes to run and grab the kids um, before daycare is closed at 5.30. So, um, so yeah, so that is what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I just got home. I always like tend to put on the same shirts as soon as I'm home because um, like I wear like these shirts, like after I get home from work and change, I only wear them for like two hours and then I go to bed. So I'll like typically save a couple shirts to wear throughout the week. I need to get more Adidas shirts. I've like really been loving my Adidas shirt for um, the summertime. But anyways, so I'm home. I'm going to open up some mail. Um, my sweet work friend, my office mate, you know who you are. But um, I have leftover Americano from her. So she warned me that like, <laughs> this is like crack. So I only drink a little bit of it. So I'm gonna put the rest of it in the fridge um, and then save it for tomorrow morning. And then um, I'm going to set up for dinner. I'm like at the bottom of the barrel for groceries and I'm trying so hard not to go out to eat. Um, I just want to like make use of the food that's like left in the house and not be wasteful. So I think what I'm going to make is like a it's like spaghetti noodles with um, Alfredo and chicken breast. So hopefully that turns out okay. Talking to himself. 
talking to yourself, baby. Hi. Are you a cute hungry boy? Are you a cute hungry boy? Hi. You're so cute. <laughs> So this is like how Riker prefers to drink his bottles. If I try to hold him and give him his bottle, most of the time he like squirms his way out and he's like grabbing and sometimes when he's really sleepy, I, I can get him to like snuggle me and have a baba. But most of the time, like this is how he wants it. It's like blankies by his face. He's just a, he's a, he's a, like a very, very much so like a cuddle bug. He just likes to be cuddled by his blankies. Don't you buddy? Don't you buddy? So usually while I'm feeding him like this, I'll just, I'll just like sit right next to him and make sure that he is a-okay because I always get so worried that the blankets are gonna like cover his face, but yeah, yeah. And he is on six ounces now, guys. Six ounce, six ounce formula bottles. I just realized I had the camera in like a really super weird setting. Um, I know my eyebrows are crazy. Usually by the end of the day, my eyebrows are like nuts. Um, anyway, so I'm just like a really quick excerpt in this video. I don't want to get too chatty in this video. I know you guys just like to see the montages and see the kids. Um, but I did just wanted to mention to you guys that since I stopped breastfeeding, um, today, like I said, was my very first day not breastfeeding at or like not pumping at all. And, um, since I st started to wean last week, um, I am five pounds down. I'm down five pounds just by like weaning from breastfeeding. So I'm one of those that breastfeeding not, I feel like it helps you lose the pregnancy weight, but then if you have any like extra fluff and you want to tone, um, breastfeeding can be negative in that sense um, for certain people. I'm not saying this is for everybody. This was certainly the case for me, um, but I was hoping to continue my morning pump for longer, um, my morning and evening pump for longer than just a week, but um, I started to really dry up after a couple days, so, which I'm not surprised, but I made it to four months, you guys, so I'm giving myself a good badge of honor for making it four months of pumping and breastfeeding and staying dedicated, so. All right, um, now on to dinner. <laughs> And so is him. His hair, his hair is growing in. But he's got like the craziest widow's beak. Huh? Yeah. What do you think, pal? What do you think? He's being such a good boy. Just snuggling his mama. It is like 8.05 right now. And like I showed you guys, I am just like laying here on the couch with the baby. And um, I think I'm probably gonna start getting the kids ready for bed soon. Um, the sun, it's like, you know, just about summer. So the sun is out until like, like 10 o'clock these days. So um, thank goodness we have like blackout curtains in our room so that when I do put the kids down for bed, um, it doesn't affect them too much. But he's just listening, he's just listening to me talk. He's just a cute boy, huh? 
You're just such a cute boy. What do you think, buddy? Hmm? What do you think? What's going on? Hmm? I think, I think I'm going to start thinking about heading upstairs soon. Yeah. Think so? You think so, bud? Hmm? Our new light has a remote because we're super fancy now. It's not working. Okay, there we go. Um, I am loving this new light. Here, I'll take my glasses off so it doesn't have any like shine for you. But um, I am really liking this new light or like Fandelier, it's called. Um, oh, mommy is out of breath. Um, I'm gonna grab jammies for the kids. Kaya just likes to sleep in her panties. So I'll just grab her like, <sighs> why am I so out of breath? I am so out of shape. Um, <laughs> okay, gown for Riker, it's inside out. I just have like a pile of clean laundry here I haven't put away yet, but Kaya just likes to sleep um, in underwear, so I just grab her a fresh pair every single night, um, just because like when they're, when they're toddlers and they're kids, I just don't feel like they, um, <laughs> they don't wipe their bum very well, um, when they go to the bathroom. Now, also wanted to mention that typically, <sighs> as I get the kids their jammies, also wanted to mention Riker's not just, like, hanging out, gonna, like, fall off the bed. He's, like, clear in the middle of the bed, hanging out, aren't you, bud? Yeah, so you guys can see me. Um, okay, so what I will do when I grab the kids' jammies is I will also grab their outfits for the next day um, to save myself some time. So I've got Riker's jammies, Kaya's underwear, which I'm not gonna show you guys that. Um, but that's what they wear for bed, and then I will set out what they're going to wear tomorrow. So I've got like a cute romper for Kaya for tomorrow. Oh, cute romper. Um, so that is my working mom hack is I will Set them out the night before, have their outfits all ready to go, and then also have my outfit ready to go, which I need to throw my um, pants. So my, I have like a new work wardrobe, and I have to wear, um, instead of leggings, I'll wear um, like denim. I just have like high-waisted skinny jeans from American, American Eagle. That's my favorite. Um, so anyways, this is Riker's outfit. Um, but for the kids, Set their outfits, or excuse me, for um for my outfit, I just have like the one pair of skinny jeans right now because I got like the nice fifty dollar pair from American Eagle, so I have to wash that. Um, but I will lay out like my pants right next to the kids' outfits, my pants, um, and then I've got like all of my um, work shirts that have like my work logo on there, um, and then I have like my name tag, which like my badge gets me into my office in the morning, and also like allows me to print and stuff at work so that's why I wear a badge um and then it has like my picture and it says like accountant on it super cute <laughs> super unflattering picture of me I always feel like those work badges are like very unflattering <laughs> but um anyways I so I set all that out the night before so that the next morning as you guys saw I get up at like anywhere between 5 30 and 6 this morning um, by the time I grabbed my camera and everything and got the shower ready, it was 6 a.m. Um, but yeah, it just saves me a lot of time because I need to make sure I'm out the door um, anywhere between like 6.45 and 7-ish. Um, usually 6.45 is when I like to leave. Um, anyways, so yeah, that's just a mom tip. That's what I do. I'll grab um, all of our out outfits and lay them out the night before right here and then it's bing bang boom in the morning one more mom tip that I wanted to share um, when I'm putting Riker to bed um, I am now just transitioning him from um, from a swaddle to a sleep sack now for both of the swaddle and the sleep sack you guys heard me in my like I think it was my working working mom night routine um i shared with you guys that i've really been loving um nested bean the brand nested bean and their zen swaddle um okay so anyways um i've been using the nested bean 
sleep swaddle for him um, and it's the Zen swaddle but now that he can roll over and he is four months old I've been using the swaddle sack and um, I'll show you guys what that looks like here in a second I've got it like right by me but um but yeah, so that's what I've been using, and he is still sleeping through the night. If you guys aren't familiar with the um, Zen Swaddle and the Zen Sack, the Zen Sleep Sack, um, I will leave links to the information down below. Ah, <laughs> as well as, um, <laughs> okay, as well as links to the products themselves. Um, both products, like I said, like right as soon. Okay, okay. Right as soon as your baby starts to roll over, they should be transitioned into a sack instead of a swaddle um, for their safety. So, um, yes, and there's like a little weighted piece on their swaddles and sacks, and it's supposed to mimic like a mother's touch, like that weighted comfort. And yeah, Riker is still sleeping through the night. We transitioned him from the swaddle to the sack because he was because he was just over swaddling, and actually he was waking up in the middle of the night with the swaddle on, like just mad. So, once we switched over to the sack, he's been a happy boy again, and he's getting right here with your feet. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what that sack looks like. I cannot recommend it enough. It is incredible. Incredible. Yep, it is. Yeah. Helps you sleep through the night, huh? Yeah. And it's like a wearable blanket for them, too, because... As I'm sure you guys know, um, babies can't sleep um, in their bassinet or crib with anything at all um, besides like a wearable sleep sack until they're, I believe it's 12 months old. I don't know if they've changed that, but um, that is what we follow um, for safe, um, safe sleeping. So we always lay him on his back in a wearable um, sleep sack. Got you. I got you. Mama, got me I got you. He's like, I'm unimpressed now. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh, cause I've always Okay guys, so this is the sleep sack. As you can see, he's got plenty of room down here for growing. Yeah, and this is that weighted piece I was telling you guys about. And this is the medium size, so he's going to grow into it a little bit. But this is the next size up from where he was at, because now you're like 15 pounds. <gasps> Now you're 15 pounds, you big boy. Forever, I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby I'll never touch a dragon. You must never touch a dragon that has curvy, curly claws. Distract it with a sandwich and run away indoors. We won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well. I will always be by your side. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, this is Madagascar 2. This is Makaya's favorite movie. Okay, so I just got done reading a book to Kaya, and now we're watching Madagascar 2. I promised her tonight that she could snuggle with me. Um, she's a little cold, so she wanted to wear a sweatshirt to bed. I offered jammies, but sometimes you need to pick and choose your battles as a mom. 
If you wanna wear your sweatshirt to bed, that's fine with me as long as your panties are clean and your teeth are brushed. So, which that was another thing that I didn't show. I didn't show us brushing the sugar bugs out of your teeth. All right, anyways, you guys, Riker is like just going down to sleep. I was gonna wait and like show you guys after he's fallen asleep. Um, but he's just about to sleep. He is sucking on his thumb and he's cuddling his blanket right now. So I am going to wrap up the vlog there for today. Um, that is my like updated, like, like really like my daily routine while working. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed my updated routine right now. If you guys like this kind of video on my channel, which I know you guys love my day in the life videos, please give it a big thumbs up and share it on your socials. I would love it and I would love to shout you guys out in my next vlog. So if I see you guys sharing on your social medias, I will shout you guys out in my next video, which will be in a couple days. And I have another fun, fun, fun day in the life. This one will be posted on Saturday probably like around noon because we're doing a really fun like nighttime activity on Friday. I'm so excited to share that with you guys. It involves the kids or like, it's mostly for Kaya, but it's really fun so stay tuned for that. Um, all right you guys, make sure you leave a comment down below and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys on Saturday for that super, super fun vlog. I'm so excited to show you guys where we're going. All right, she has no idea where we're going. It's a big surprise. All right, can you say goodnight? Say bye, you guys. Not in the mood. Okay, bye, you guys. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby.